What is up, Cryatics? Welcome back to the Chrome Enterprises DLC. In this video, we'll be customizing the 10th Drift Feed vehicle of the DLC, which officially released today, October 27th, which is the BF Weevil Custom. So, essentially turns the normal Weevil into pretty much a rat rod variant. Very, very cool. Now, the base Weevil price is on sale this week, usually 650 k now it's 390 so big difference there. Um, but the custom conversion cost to turn it from this into this is almost a million dollars. So even with this discount, you're still about 1.4 million roughly, you know, especially if you start adding upgrades and stuff um, into this car. So I'm, I'm pretty sure fully upgraded, you can probably get this thing close to $2 million with the price of the base car and of course all the upgrades and everything. So pretty insane there. Now, of course, the custom variant of the Weevil is primarily based on a VW Beetle rat rod. Very, very cool, very custom. Um, you know, the chopped roof, the, I mean, it's, it's just a completely different car, pretty much. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and check out the customization here. So we are in the uh, CEO office, so we do have Benny's options here in the custom shop. What are we doing today? See, so the Weevil stock is in the compacts class, as you can see on the bottom right, compacts. Uh, now when we turn it into the Weevil Custom there, you can see the upgrade 980,000. So boom, and it is now in the Muscle Car class, which you'll see when we go outside. Um, so it does change the class, and this thing looks absolutely <laughs> insane. So, so cool. Absolutely love this. The chopped roof, the tires sticking out super far. I just love it. It's a really, really cool look. Alright, armor, brakes... Bumpers, you have an extended lip. Okay, kind of squares off the front end, kind of weird. Extended lip with tusk bars, bull bars, tusk, carbon splitter, extended bull bar. Okay, so you want like a more like an off road look, I guess you can pick one of these bull bars. Okay, yeah, it's definitely for like an off road build. Um, I, I mean, this bull bar is kind of like a little reference to, I guess, like the classic ones. Like, I mean, sort of, you know, chrome kind of bumper look there. Um, the carbon, oh, I guess, no, the carbon splitter would be more of a, a kind of reference to that. Interesting. I don't know, I kind of like the the look of the, the smoothed out front end. Um, hmm. Kind of squaring it off looks weird to me. I don't like that. I don't really like any of these options, if I'm being honest. It, for, for the first time, I think I'm going to skip out on this bumper option. I don't really like any of these, to be honest. I don't want an off-road build, so... And all these look pretty weird to me, so let's go to rear here. Uh, ooh, inj injection rear cage. I'm going to expose back there, I like that. Buggy rear cage, Baja. Look at the little antenna there. Reference to, like, the BF injection. Very cool. That does remind me though, that, that brings up a good point. Rockstar literally brought it up for me. This is extremely, extremely similar to the BF injection that we've had in the game since day one. But this is more of like a, you know, a rat rod custom variant, super low to the ground rather than an off-road one. Interesting. Um, Alright, well I, I, I do like the, without the cover, kind of exposed. I think it looks pretty sick. Um, the question is which one? I think the injection one looks pretty cool. I mean, all of these are pretty cool, but this one does have that bar though. I think this one looks a bit cleaner. The buggy rear cage. We'll do that one. To match the Chassis, headlight covers. Oh, if you want to do that. Whoa, this one moves them. What the heck? Gee, look at that. This one, this one actually like completely moves them. I wonder if they still work because they're, they're on here, but now they're not on anymore. <laughs> okay. Whoa, now it moves them up there? What the heck? Moves them... You know what? Blue? Red? How do you... Whatever red? Oh, it's the tint. The headlight tint. Okay, so red tint, green tint, blue tint, yellow tint, rat rod, fog lights. <laughs> oh my gosh, racing. Wow, that is so sick. You could completely change the look of this thing with all these different options here. Um... I don't even know what to pick. I, the retro looks pretty cool, I like that. And it kind of gives the front end a bit of a better look, at least to me. Um, 
You know what? Let's go with the retro ones. I like that. I don't I don't think they work though because like some of these don't appear to work. The stock does, this one, this one does not. This one does not, but then these do. I guess we'll test that when we go outside. We'll see what's happening there. Tail lights, vintage, retro, it, LED, brake lights, very cool. Fend, brake, ooh, that is sick. Look at that. I like that. Bullet, oh wow. I've never seen so many headlight and tail light variants on a car in GTA. This is pretty cool. Whoa, now it moves them up there? That is so sick. Wow, the customization for this thing is pretty ins pretty insane so far. I do like the finned one a lot. We'll do that. Engine, exhaust. So you have basically a chrome version of a stock. Big bore, a little bigger. Upswept, that's pretty sick. Central, upswept central. Uh, what is this? Baby stinger, big bore, upswept, off to the side, giant megas, <laughs> off to the side. What is this? Coming out straight out of there? Okay. Oh, that's sick, the quad stingers. And the mega zoomies, that's uh. <laughs> A bit excessive. It's cool though. It kind of matches the flair of this thing, but I, I do like the quad stingers a lot. That's that's pretty sick. That, that gives it a really cool look. Let's do that. that. Hood accessories, adventure kits, chrome trim, rat rod trim. Okay. Retro horns on one side. Okay. Red deflector there in the center. Green, blue, yellow. Hood studs. Oh my. Hood spikes, hood chains. <laughs> wow, you can go so many different like build routes with this thing. That's pretty sick. Um, I guess we'll do the the chrome trim. I suppose we do have a lot of chrome all over this thing, so um, let's go with the chrome trim there. Hood. You have secondary carbon retro grill, fog light hood. Huh. So it puts lights there. Interesting. Secondary carbon twin vented. And the last one here is hot rod hood. So <laughs> pretty wild looking. Tons of vents. Um, even though our engine's at the rear and there really isn't much cooling needed up here because the brakes are exposed and yeah. Um hmm. it, it does look it does look cool, but I think it's a I don't know. I think I think it looks a bit better without it, if I'm being honest. Um, so I guess we'll skip that. Uh, interior seats. Whoa, I've never, ever seen that that the way that the camera turns like that. What? I guess because you can't see it that well here. I mean, you still can, but Whatever that's the first time I've ever seen Rockstar do that. Usually, you have to move the camera yourself and kind of try to figure out, you know, to see the seat better. Um, but in this case, it moves it for you. That's that's pretty sick. Basic buckets, lightweight, bare aluminum, rat, ooh, the rat rod seats, I like that a lot. Muscle seats, that's sick. Barrels, what the heck is that? <laughs> oh my god. And then worn barrel seats, Jesus, that's funny. <laughs> that's the, it almost looks like a toilet seat or something, I don't know. It just looks so bad. Oh man, okay. Um, I, 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 I do like the... The rat rod seats, I think that's sick. Let's do that. The steering wheels, with the stock one there. You have a bunch of different variants. The street rod one is pretty sick. Of course, all the different typical Benny's variants. The chain link one, I think, suits this really nicely. Ooh, the rat rod. Ooh, that's sick. Oh my god. Those, These two are new. Rat rod and chain link too. Oh man, the rat rod one. Look at that. That's beautiful. Alright, we'll do that. I, I probably wouldn't want to drive that myself. That's probably going to destroy your hands, but it does look cool. <laughs> Shifters. Oh man, and see, this is the first time I've ever seen the cameras moving around for Benny's upgrades. Why wasn't it like this originally? So you got the eight ball. Oh, this is, I love this. Oh, that has to, I, I think that's mandatory on this car, the skull. That's so sick. 
yeah, all typical Benny's options here. The pistol grip is pretty sick too. Yeah, but there's something about the the skull without the hat. Yeah, that, that's sick. Let's do that. Doors. Maybe first person. Oh, yeah, it looks a little better. Worn. Oh, that's sick to match our seats. Beater door panel panels. Um, rat rod muscle. Okay. Does this match the seats better, or does this one? Hmm. That's a tough one. The worn. I like. I think. I think this one looks a little better because it, instead of this, instead of it just being a giant panel, this looks a bit nicer. Okay, we'll do that. Light color. Yeah, we'll just leave that silver. Roll cage. So you can put a roll cage in here. Okay. Basic. Half cage. Sturdy. Okay. And then full. Um. I, I think we'll do maybe a basic cage because I don't want it to be visible too much through the back window. I want it to be a little bit cleaner. Um, so I think we'll do the basic cage there. Uh, lights, definitely. Oh man, the lights, yeah, they don't work with this upgrade, I suppose. That is funny. That's a bit of an oopsie on Rockstar's part. They don't work with this <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> maybe it works with the high beams, possibly. Maybe, maybe that's how it is, I don't know. We'll leave them stock for now. I, I should be yellow still. Uh, liveries, hot rod flames, purple, camo, camo, more camo. Yes, copy and paste from the original Weevil. A lot of these are repeat. Barn find, forgotten racer. Different variants here. And this is the new one, the Death Beater. Brand new livery for the uh, Weevil Custom. I keep wanting to call it Weevil Rat Rod, which that's what it should have been called, but it's called Weevil Custom. <laughs> um, that's okay. Uh, hmm. I think I might skip a livery for this. I do want. I really don't like any of these for the build I'm going for. Um, mirrors. So you got the old school mirrors, retro, vintage, touring, low mirrors. Bullet mirrors, those are sick, I like that. Skeletal mirror, ooh, so it's like a skeleton holding it, that's pretty sick. And the rat rod mirrors. I do like the bullet mirrors a lot. I think I'm gonna go with that, let's do that. Ornaments, what? Ooh, that is so sick, the BF logo, the BF logo on there. Oh, that's awesome, oh, a skull. Oh, that's so classy, I love it, Reaper. <laughs> The cow, hot rod, oh man. I do like the classiness of the, the BF logo there. That is so nice. But these do look cool. I don't want to go too overboard with the skull theme. We already have it on my shifter. Um, I think... Man, I, I do like the Beevil logo a lot. The flat one. Let's do that. License plates. Do black background. I don't even know what plate to put on this. Um... I have no idea. I don't. I don't think I have a good plate for this. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't have a good plate for this. Um, I guess I'll just put. Eh, this one works kinda. Looks and we'll do that. You. And we'll do that. Yeah. Okay. So, color for this. Um. I, I do like the stock, so the stock wheels, it does uh, link to your secondary color, which is pretty sick, as you can see. So I think I'm going to pick maybe our stock color first. Hmm. How does this look in... Ooh, that does look pretty sick. You're let's let's see how this turns out. I'm quite interested to see how this turns out here. Lesson... Trino red. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. I like that a lot. That's sick. I do feel like maybe the wheel should be white, though. I think it's maybe a bit too much on the cream there for the secondary and the wheels. Um, trim. Ooh, it puts the dash primary to. Oh, that looks so good in candy red. Oh my god. With this interior. Oh, and this is the headliner. And like the floor? Okay. And the review mirror for some reason. Hmm, I think that will look good in maybe cream or white. Let's see the difference here. That's cream. 
Yeah, yeah, I think the cream. Yeah, the white, How for sure, for sure the again? cream. Okay. Uh, Criblum goes on the doors. All right. Roof, you have a vintage rack. Seaside getaway. Oh, the surfboard. That is so cool. Different surfboard designs, too. Wow. Man. I guess I forgot. I know, I know a lot of these are on the regular Weevil's options, but I guess I forgot some of them. Making decisions is stressful. Polished roof spikes. Wow. I think there is a, a sunroof looking option for this thing. I, I, I don't know. I would I thought it was supposed to be in here, but I guess not. Let me let me keep looking here. Yeah, I don't think it is. Um, yeah, no, I don't think it is. Okay, so we'll, we'll pick one of these. Um, the surfboard does look cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll do the the surfboard on here. Let's do that. This thing is so confused right now. It's a rat rod like mixed with like a classy. <laughs> <laughs> VW Beetle build, but I like it. It's different. Um, okay, so we did the roofs. Now we're on to the skirts. So you got classic running boards. You got the chrome. Oh, I see now. It sticks out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. I think it looks better. Yeah, no, it looks better flush without any running board at all. Definitely. I don't. I don't like any of that. Sun strips. Oh my God. If you want, there's a bunch of different ones here. How's the visibility out of this thing with with <laughs> even worse? <laughs> Jesus! Oh man. Okay, well, we're definitely not doing any of those. Spoiler upgrade, and this does add traction, as you can see in the bottom. Okay, so you have the mid level, the ducktail. That's sick. I like that. GT primary. Oh my. Yeah, it looks pretty crazy. That one looks sick too. But I think the ducktail kind of suits our build drag wing so it's a bit the fins are a bit bigger and this one's carbon okay and then oh my gosh look at the size of that Jesus <laughs> all right so we'll definitely do ducktail there so you can lower this it's already low what oh my what god Jesus it's just scraping the ground at this point <laughs> the wheels camber look how far they camber Oh my god. Okay, I don't think I want to go that low. We're probably going to get caught on curbs and stuff. I don't I don't want to go that low. I think... I mean, stock right height is fine to me, but if we do want to lower it, I guess maybe a little bit. We'll go with the... Maybe the street, I suppose. No or maybe the lower... I don't even know at this point. Alright, we'll go with the street. That, that is so low. Oh man, yeah. And the other ones were even lower. Uh, well, somewhere in the middle. Let's see how that works out. Turbo. Okay, wheels. Honestly, I think I'm just going to keep the stocks. I was thinking of the white. You could probably get kind of close with probably the lowrider ones. Um, but I don't know. I think the white won't look that great. We'll, we'll keep it with a stock cream uh, color there. Um, windows. You black them out. Yeah, why not? Yeah, black it. Meh, actually no, I don't want to black it all out completely. Maybe just a light smoke. I don't want to hide that interior too much. And that's all the options there. Alright. Exit to ground. I'm excited to see how this thing drives. This is going to be really interesting. Okay, exhaust note. So it sounds like the... Kind of like the, the trophy truck. Okay, interior, this this interior came out. I love the steering wheel. And the seats we chose and the door panels. This came out really nice. Very, very happy with this. Alright, let's floor it here. Rear wheel drive, of course. Oh my god, that's a ton of power and I can't even turn. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, this is fast. Jesus. Oh, it is in the muscle class. Oh my god. Okay, this is really fast. And I can... The steering, there's like a lot of input delay. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, this is actually scary to drive. I'm not liking the responsiveness. Uh, oh man, this is weird the way this drives. Let me, let me force it on a corner. We're, we're probably gonna die, but let's let's see what happens. Yeah, understeer. Oh, pure, pure, pure understeer.
It doesn't drive that bad. It's got it's just got a little input delay and a lot of understeer. Turn. There you go. And the back end will come out. Yep, it will come out on bumpy sections the back end comes out. It's really quick though in a straight line. I'm very impressed. The acceleration is nuts. Yeah, this thing will definitely smoke a regular Weevil. It's not even close. <laughs> this thing will absolutely destroy it. Let's see first person view here. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Brakes are pretty decent, so that's good. Yeah, this thing is pretty sick. This is very cool. The acceleration, man, is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Brakes. Ah. Wow. This is fun to drive. This is actually... I'm glad they didn't make it like super slow and, and just really annoying to drive or dumb. This is actually pretty sick. I like this a lot. Alright, so this isn't the muscle class, so it can do wheelies, even though the normal Weevil in the compacts class can also do wheelies, but... Um, Alright, let's see how it does. Oh my god, it has so much power, it just kicks up the front end to the moon. Let me try to manage it here. What is it? It's doing this by itself. What? <laughs> what? It's just doing that by itself. I tried to throttle controlling it, and that's what it did. This is this is what it's doing. I. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Oh my god. That is so weird. Okay, can we even attempt to... Okay. Wait. Oh my... It has so much power that... Okay, hold on. Let me try here. It just it just kicks it everywhere. It, it turns it everywhere except for straight. It, go, it wants to go everywhere except for straight. Right, hold on. Oh no no. Okay, this is actually I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh my god. Okay, let's face a direction we don't want to go. Let me see if that helps. <laughs> that should help. Okay, this guy's angry now. Sorry. Okay. Uh, let's face it this way. Let's see if it goes to the right. Oh look at that! Yes, it's working. Even though we need to, we need to go more to the left. And now I have cops on me. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is nice. Now, okay. And then when we're facing the other way, it wants to go straight. Of course it does. Of course it does. That's Rockstar pointing and laughing at us. Okay, let's let's pull over and open all the doors here. Let me call these cops off of me so I can review everything here without being shot a million times. Okay. How can I help? No problem. I'll get him off your back. Let's see if everything opens, even though we don't have a rear compartment anymore, because we put that option. But all right, front opens the spare wheel there. I love it. Okay, this is a mistake on Rockstar's part. Why does why is the spare wheel primary color? It should be secondary. <laughs> so that's that's a bit of an, an oopsie there. That they should have made that secondary. Um, I love the interior, the red with the cream, oh my gosh, with those seats and the steering wheel. That interior to me is a 10 out of 10. I'm super happy with that. The options it has, the detail, that's incredible. Very, very detailed interior, super happy with that. Love the way this turned out back here. Um, I do wish maybe the engine had a bit more chrome. Um, it might be like a chrome engine option or something like that. Um, but other than that, I mean, it still looks pretty good. Yeah, this thing is sick. And let me see. I don't know if we ever... We, we never tested the lights, right? Maybe... Oh, so the lights... Okay, so when you put those options, it makes the lights high beams only now. Okay, so high beam only for that. I mean, at least it still works, but you have to use the high beams for it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this thing is sick. Very, very cool. Is it worth it... That's a tough call, honestly. It's it's basically 1.4 million, right? And then you gotta start adding upgrades and everything to it. Um, you're easily, I mean, I'd say like 1.8, somewhere around there. And if you're not buying it when the base car's on sale, um, you're even at more money. So <laughs> definitely one to think about. Uh, but if you want something, this is very unique and different from what we usually get in GTA Online in terms of like DLC cars. Um, it's very unique for sure. I, I like it. It's cool, it's different. Honestly, 
there's really no faults with it for the most part. Um, and I'm gonna say it, I, I think it's kind of worth it. And that's kind of crazy for me to say, but <laughs> it's cool, it's different. I like it. Well done, Rockstar. Very cool vehicle. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.